Welcome to the Unified Champion Schools Unified Bocce training video. We hope this offers you helpful guidance when officiating Unified Bocce this season. If you have any other questions following this video, please contact your regional UCS staff member. Thank you for being willing to officiate Unified Bocce. Each court should have two officials, the head official and a line official. All officials should be dressed in a white polo shirt or white t-shirt provided by Special Olympics, black pants and sneakers. The head official needs to be an adult. The line official can be a student who is not on the bocce team. Their supplies include a coin, a green and red paddle, and a 25 meter measuring tape. The game is on a court that is 12 feet wide by 60 feet long. There are three lines on the court, a 10-foot service line, a 30-foot midline, and a 50-foot foul line. Coaches are required to remain within the area of the coaching chair, which should be positioned at the 30-foot line on either side of the court. The coach can stand, but must be near the coach's chair area. Coaches may not provide instructions to the team once play begins. Coaches may provide positive affirmations, such as, good role, nice job. If at any time during the frame, coaches are coaching, one ball from the offending team is considered dead and the ball will be removed and not rolled. The game is played with a set of indoor bocce balls made by a company called Bubba Bocce. The gel filled balls consist of a small yellow ball called a polina and four green bocce balls and four red bocce balls. Each game has two teams consisting of four players on the serving end. Can I get the captains? All right, we have heads and we have tails. Will and Megan, will you call? Tails. Tail. Okay. Heads is up. Hannah and Corin, you'll get the polina. What color would you like? Red. Red it is. A player may enter the court from the side or the back end of the service area. A player should not be holding a ball unless they are in the service box or stepping into the service box for their turn to roll. The game begins with the team member of the winning coin toss rolling the polina. As the polina is rolled for the first time, the game clock should start. The polina and all balls must be rolled underhanded and be delivered from below the waist from inside the 12 by 10 foot service area. The only person allowed in the service box is the player rolling the polina. The polina must land in the play area, which is between the mid court line, the back foul line, and 12 inches from the side of the court. If the polina lands in the play area but rolls within a foot of the sidewall, the official may move the polina one foot from the sidewall. The player throwing the polina has three tries to land the polina in play. If they fail, their opponents are given one attempt. If the opponent fails to land the polina in play, the official places the polina on the 40-foot center line. If the polina passes the 50-foot line, hits the backboard, and bounces back in the play area, it is considered an unsuccessful attempt. No matter who puts the polina in play, the team who won the coin toss will throw the first bocce ball. After play begins, if the polina is bumped and moves out of the play area, the game will continue wherever the polina lands. The play area only exists for the initial placement of the polina. Once the bocce ball is thrown, the main official will call that ball the in ball because it is closest to the polina. 
So if the first ball thrown is red, the official will hold the paddle showing the green side and announce that red is in, green has the roll. Red is in, green has the roll. The green team will then deliver the next bocce ball. After each roll, the official will tell the team who is in and who has the roll. Red is in, green has the roll. Green will roll until they are the in ball. Once green is in, then the red team will roll until they are the in ball. Red is in, green has the roll. Red is in, green has the roll. Play will continue in this manner until all eight balls have been delivered. Red is in, green has no more balls left, red will roll. Red will roll. Red will roll. During play, the line official remains outside of the court at the service line. Their role is to watch for foot faults and illegal rolls. An illegal roll is when the player rolls out of turn or rolls the wrong color. Stop, it's green's turn. If a player attempts to roll the wrong color ball, the line official will correct the player. A foot fault is when the athlete steps over the line while delivering the ball if the player attempts to roll. If any of these situations occur, the ball is considered dead. If the line official can safely stop the ball, the ball is removed from the court and will not be played during that frame. That's a foot fault. That's a dead ball. If the thrown ball misses the ball's in contention, it is removed from the court and will not be played during that frame. If the thrown ball hits the balls in contention, the illegal ball is removed from the court and will not be played during that frame. The rest of the balls will be placed back into their original position and the game will resume. Releasing a ball above the waist is considered a foul and should be declared a dead ball. If the dead ball is already rolling and hits the other live balls in play, the live balls should be moved to their original position as best as possible. Two hands on the ball is acceptable if necessary as long as the release is still below the waist. The officials will measure as necessary to see who has the closest ball to the polina. During the game, officials should measure if they are not sure which ball is the end ball. The line official may help in measuring. Remember, the ball layout looks much different from serving box than it does when you're standing in the play area. When in doubt, measure out. When measuring distance, the official should take the end of the measuring tape and place it on the side center of the bocce ball and pull the measuring tape over the top of the polina. The distance calculated is from the side center of the bocce ball to the top center of the polina. The head official will make the judgment on final distance after measuring. For longer measurements, the line official may assist with measuring by holding the end of the tape measure closest to the bocce ball. If one or more of the same color balls is closer to the polina than the other color, the team with the closer ball will receive one point for each ball. So if three red balls are closer to the polina before the green ball, the score would be three red. Green receives zero points. Only one team receives points per each frame. 
Once you determine the score, turn your paddle to the winning team's color and with the other hand, hold up the number of points. Show this to the score table, then to the players and state three red. If during the frame, two balls are tied for the closest distance, the last ball rolled that caused the tie must continue to roll until they are the end ball. If a tie remains after both teams have rolled all their balls, the frame is null and void, no points awarded to either team. If the tie occurs at the very end of the frame after measuring for points, the frame is considered dead and no points are given. The balls are placed at the end of the court and the team who originally rolled the polina will start the new frame. If the polina leaves the court during play, the frame is dead. The balls are placed at the end of the court and the team who originally rolled the polina will start the new frame. If a ball leaves the court at any time, it stays out of the court and will not be played during that frame. Each team is allowed to have one 60 second timeout during the match. Timeout. The timeout must be called by the head coach. Players and head coach from both teams are allowed to speak with each other during the timeout. The coach must go to the players. The team calling the timeout must be in possession of the ball. The official will tell the scorekeeper to stop the clock for 60 seconds. Officials are responsible for helping to keep the pace of play flowing to allow for the most playing time possible. They will use the following prompts to help keep student athletes on track. Prompt one is from the head official, red in, green roll. Prompt two will be given by head officials 10 seconds after the first prompt. Exceptions, allow wheelchair visual hearing impaired athletes to get into place before 10 second count would begin. Prompt three will be given 10 seconds after prompt two. Head official will declare, I will start a 10 second countdown. A 10 second hand count will be displayed by the head official. Red did not roll, dead ball. Green, your roll. If within the last seven minutes of play, a team appears to slow down or delay the game in order to retain their lead for the win, the official will do the following. First, give the head coach of the team a warning. If a delay occurs a second time, the offending team will forfeit the frame and the opposing team will receive four points. The team who won the points in the last frame will have possession of the Polina to begin the new frame. The game will continue in this format until one team reaches 16 points or the time limit of 30 minutes is complete. When there are two minutes left in the half hour of play, the official will be notified by the score table. Two minute warning, no new frames. If a play is in the middle of a frame or just beginning a frame, the frame will be played until complete. A frame has begun if the polina has rolled. A tiebreaker frame will be completed. When the 16 points or half hour is complete, the official must check the score sheet and sign off. Ramps are used when an athlete does not have the physical ability to roll with their hands or hand. Ramps and other assistance devices may be used with the approval of the UCS liaison. No mechanical aid shall be used to propel the bocce ball or polina. The ramp needs to be placed on the center of the 20-foot line. The athlete can direct the partner to adjust the ramp if they so choose. If needed, the back section of the court can be removed or opened to allow for easier entry access into the service area. Paras or one-on-ones may transition from one end of the court to the other between frames with the student they are assigned to assist. No coaching is allowed by this individual. They are there for emotional support and or physical support as needed. For students with significant needs who require an escort onto the court by either a partner or a paraprofessional, coaching is still never allowed but prompting, such as reminding the athlete to roll the ball, is not coaching. Players with a visual impairment are permitted to have a cone, teammate, or official behind the polina to provide verbal cues as to the location of the polina. A bell or other sound emitting device also may be used. No coaching is allowed, just cues such as, I am standing in back of the polina, or can you hear my voice?
we'd like to thank Daniel Boone Area High School and Westchester Henderson High School for assisting in the development of this video.